Hi you guys, I am Danielle and this is Soraya and today you guys I want to give you guys an update, a little chit chat on Soraya officially being three months old. She is no longer a newborn which is so crazy. Time has gone by so fast but I just want to talk to you guys about like what her milestones are, what she's been up to, um, what we've been using the last three months and how I have been postpartum, what my postpartum journey has been like. So Sit back and let's start a little chat. Soraya is just like looking at herself. She's so confused. Normally, you guys, she's not making this confused face. She's normally smiling. That is her favorite thing to do now. I am always calling her smiley because she is smiling away at everything. She's even trying to laugh, mainly at like her sister and brother. She like kind of laughs and it comes off like a cough right now, like a little... <laughs> But she's getting there. She's getting there with her laugh. I can see her laughing in the next month or so. She's actually been three months for the last 11 days, I believe. So she's going on three and a half months. Um, besides smiling, she wants to sit up, like completely sit up. She doesn't like leaning back or being like propped back. She is trying to use her little baby sewing muscles and pull herself forward. So she'll sit herself up and I'm just amazed. She has great neck control. I can just hold her up pretty much for the most part and she can keep her neck and her back up and straight. Um, so she's been doing really good at that. She really doesn't like tummy time and I think that's my fault because we don't do a lot of tummy time. So I'm starting to do more tummy time with her just so she can continue to strengthen her neck muscles and roll over. She has not rolled over yet. Not from her stomach to her back at all. So, and I think part of the reason is because like I said, we don't do a lot of tummy time, but also because she is um, trying to like scoot her legs as if she's trying to crawl instead. And she's so chunky. I feel like chunkier babies have a hard time rolling over. Lily rolled over at two months. She was a skinny baby. Jace was chunky like her and it took him, I think to four months to roll over. So I'm not worried, but I feel like when babies have all this cushion right here, they cannot roll over. <laughs> and speaking of her being chunky, she was 12 pounds at her two-month appointment. So I'm not quite sure what her stats are right now. But I'm leaning towards 14 pounds. She is moving up to a size 2 diaper. Well, she is in a size 2 diaper. Um, and she is fitting three to six months clothes. So I'm pretty sure she's close to 14 pounds if she is not already. This girl loves to eat. She um, drinks anywhere between a four to six ounce bottle, just depending on how long she's gone between feedings. Um, but for the most part, it's a five ounce bottle that we make. Sometimes she wants a little more, so I'll make another ounce or two, depending on if she took like six to eight hours between bottles. And that's usually when she's sleeping. Um, she was sleeping throughout the night. She'll sleep for like seven to eight hour stretches. Um, but sometimes it's not at night because she's gone through like a sleep regression the last two weeks. She'll um, sleep throughout the day normally and then when it comes time to go to sleep she'll be like waking up like every hour like in the evening time she won't get a good nap in and at night she'll just be up until like 2.30 in the morning and then she'll sleep all the way from 2.30 to like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock in the, um, the next day. So she'll get long sleep in, but it's not always at night like it was before. So I don't know if she's going through a sleep regression because throughout the day, the last couple of days, she just wakes up immediately. Um, once she's down for a nap, she's not sleeping like she was. I'm hoping we get back to sleeping throughout the night versus more so sleeping throughout the day, which is what it is right now. And I do know four month olds go through sleep regressions, but she might be getting hers a little early and her sleeping schedule is just off because of it she does have a little cradle cap at the top of her head it's not much it's light so i have been washing her hair um every time i give her a bath and i don't give her a bath that often because it is winter and she is a newborn so i just give her a bath like two to three times a, a week well she's not a newborn anymore but you know what i'm saying she's still She's still new, so she gets a bath about two or three times a week, and each time I will wash her hair and use a um, a kit that I got from Target while washing her hair. I'll show you guys in just a minute. It's a brush and a comb that comes with it, and I'll use that to help um, get the cradle cap out. Her biggest thing, you guys, now that she can open her hands and hold things, she is liking to hold her own bottle. She's been doing that for about three to three weeks or so, two to three weeks, 
and she'll hold it up. She can't hold it for long. Um, she'll end up dropping it a little bit, so she needs a little support. But as soon as she sees the bottle, she's like grasping at it to hold up the bottle herself. And we are still using these Itsy Ritzy Passy. She really likes this pacifier. We use it everywhere, all day, every day. We're still using stage one nipples for her bottles. So I think I'm going to go up to stage two soon and see if she adjusts well to that. If not, we'll stay with stage one. Has had like her first little cold. My kids both had coughs. They still have coughs kind of and like runny noses. So she has a little slight cough and her nose has been a little runny and stuffy. Um, it's clear so I haven't had to take her to a doctor or anything. She's still drinking her milk just fine and not having any issues in her um it's not as clear so i haven't taken her to the doctor but she's only had one little cold thus far which i think is good for having a kindergartner at home who is constantly sick she's only been sick once in the last three months so i'm happy for that guys soraya is now sleeping so i'm gonna share with you what i have been loving the last three months some of these are newer items because she has reached new milestones but for the most part these are just a few things that i could not have lived without the last three months that she has loved and i have loved as well the first one, you guys, she does not love at all. I love it, though. It is this booger picker. I never had one of these with my first kids, and I didn't even know what it was. It came in, um, like, one of the safety kits you get with, like, the nail file and the medicine syringe, stuff like that, and this was in there, and I was like, what is this thing? So I had Googled it, and it said it was a booger picker. It has a little switch on here to turn the light on so you can see up their nose and you can easily just drag it right out she does not like this thing but i love it sometimes she lets me do it recently um and i've been picking a lot of boogers because she has had a little cold like i said um but it is so satisfying to be able to get in that nose and just grab the booger right on out i absolutely love this thing recommend it i'm gonna link the safety kit that i got below and if i could find one on amazon or you can just buy it separately. I will um, add a link for that one too. But this little thing is the best little device that I didn't even know I needed, but I definitely will not live without from now on. I have shared this in other videos and this stuff is amazing. I love this. This is still the first one that I have, um, that I bought before she was born. So we've been using this one jar this whole time. It is the Burton Bees Healing Ointment. I use it all over her body. I use it on her baby acne she had um, when she was like one month and it took it away within days. I use it all over her. It's keeping her skin nice and moisturized. I really love this. It is an ointment that I will continue to use for her um, for probably the next couple years. So definitely love this. It is just, it's nice and it's moisturizing, but it's not too heavy. That's another reason why I like it. It's kind of lightweight, but it does give them like a nice little grease, grease down. So I do love this. Her body wash and her shampoo, we are using the Shea Moisture. It's for delicate skin. Um, it has raw Shea chem chamomile and argan oil in it. And I can say her skin has not been dry at all. She was born in December. It's very cold and dry here. Um, her skin has not been dried out by this at all. Her hair has not been dried out. I will continue to use this as well. It's been working for us thus far and it is definitely a favorite of mine. The next thing you guys she's been using a lot is this little teether. So she's been opening her hands a lot and is teething already, chewing on everything. This little teether has saved our lives like the last week or two. Um, it has a little handle in there where the baby can easily grasp it and chew on both of these sides. These sides like are too nimic like a mom's nipple or like a um, pacifier and she just loves holding on to this little thing and gnawing on it. Um, I definitely love this and you can find this everywhere. Walmart, Amazon, any and everywhere. It'll be linked below as well. But we really like this teether. Next, you guys, is the Bobby Pillow. I cannot say more about the Bobby Pillow than anyone has already said. There's just so many more nursing pillows out there now that seem to be maybe better for nursing, um, you know, for various reasons. But the original OG Bobby has been so good the last like two months because we can use it for so many other things, um, mainly sitting her up in. She loves to be sitting up right now, um, and that just saves us like she 
you don't have to prop her up with a bunch of pillows. We can put her right in this boppy. And maybe sometimes we'll stick a blanket or pillow behind her back to sit her upright. But she loves just lounging in here. So she uses it for a lounger a lot throughout the day. Whereas the other breastfeeding pillows, you cannot do that with really. This one is perfect for her little body. I can maneuver her so many different ways to like lay down um, and be able to see whatever she wants to see. But also sit her and prop her up. And a lot of times she's just like overly stimulated and fussy and won't go to sleep when I'm trying to get her to go to sleep. I can put her in her boppy. She'll lay to the side and just fall asleep on her own. So this little pillow is everything. I know it's not that people don't really go to it as much now for breastfeeding because there's so many other options, but it's so many other things you can use the boppy for for your baby. And I just love it. We use this every day, no matter what, we're using the boppy for something. It's my first time using a diaper caddy for one of my kids and this is just a lifesaver i can just take this all around the house with me and use it i use this every day we know where everything is it keeps everything um in one place and i don't have to go around looking for what i'm looking for and it's just easy to maneuver like if i want to take her formula upstairs with us at night or bottles or whatever i can easily put everything we've been using throughout the day in here and just take it upstairs with us to the playroom wherever i in taking this caddy with me it makes it so much easier than trying to hold the baby and also take everything you need with you to the next room a diaper caddy is a, a must in my opinion i you guys love this little egg shaped baby brush it um is for cradle cap and like washing their hair it does come with a, like a little sponge as well and a little comb this part i use when washing Soraya's hair all the time um, and I like how soft the bristles are you could get in her hair and scalp easily to make sure it's nice and clean you guys have heard me talk many times about the snuggle me pillow she actually loves it we love it we put her in it for naps sometimes she still sleeps in it at night very rarely but she um loves that pillow she sleeps in there very well especially in the newborn stage um up until I say like two months she slept in there religiously would definitely not do the newborn stage again without it now you guys that i am three months postpartum i could finally say i'm pretty positive i am pre-eclampsia free um, my blood pressure has been regular even without taking my blood pressure medicine and that is just what my doctor recommended is to me slowly starting to wean myself on my medicine and see if I feel normal and I did and then I just um, started taking like one dose a day and then no doses and my blood pressure remained the same and they, they say it's just something that has to go away with time. If you guys see my um, postpartum video right after having Soraya you guys know I found out um, three two two days after having her that I have preeclampsia was in the hospital for five days but I am finally over that so I'm so happy um I can say I'm back to pre-pregnancy weight um for the most part I still can't like button up all of my jeans like I could before but they go on they fit like normal so now my appetite seems to be like it was before pregnancy while breastfeeding and nursing and pumping my hormones felt like it was still over the place i was still hungry a lot and craving a lot of the same things i was craving while pregnant um i still pump but not as often to be honest we're kind of more so on the formula route which is my first time doing this with a baby like i told you guys before so um my hormone or my hormones seem more regular so i feel like i'm getting more to a regular appetite so i'm starting to meal prep so i can get to uh, um the way i want to be because i'm not craving as many stacks as I, snacks as i was before so now i feel like it'll be successful with trying to um lose the weight i want to lose i do feel like my body though does still feel like I went through pregnancy with my older two kids that are now seven and five I went back to um my body felt normal right away like I remember when I had my daughter Liliana me and my sister were playing around I was chasing her and I was able to run like nothing had ever happened now you guys like it's three months and I run or like move fast like I feel like a tightness like in my growing like like the muscles are still um tender kind of I don't know I don't know how to explain it but I could tell that my muscles have not completely healed healed from carrying Soraya and it's probably because I am in my 30s and because I was heavier this time um than I have been before my body you guys is different too okay so along with body I have gotten like skin acne or like a rash like on both my arms here and here on both sides and I did google it and it said that it can be common um after pregnancy so I don't know why um 
that has come about but i've been doing a lot of exfoliating trying to get my skin normal and just moisturizing hoping it goes away in the next month or two um but that has been the only other body change that i have really experienced since having soraya so you guys i hope this video was helpful i hope you enjoyed it if you have not yet subscribed and you love watching mom day in a life videos and all baby content please consider subscribing you guys and i will see you guys in the next one